We have a ton of Legos at our house. If I were to make a database to describe all of our Legos, I could utilize several different data types. The first one I would consider is categorical. Categorical data helps us put things into categories. For instance, with the Legos in front of me, I could describe them by the color. Sophia, what color are the Legos in front of me? Pink. What other colors do you see? Uh, red. Red. Great. And what about the other ones? Blue. Mm-hmm. And two yellows. And two yellows. Excellent. Yes. Sophia said two yellows. That brings us to our second type Look of data. At this, this one. Yes, it's smaller. Mm -hmm. This brings us to our second type of data, which is quantitative data. Quantitative data. Quantitative data helps us to describe things by using measurements and counts. Sophia mentioned that we had two yellow. How many blue do we have? Um, two. Two, great. How many red? Three. Count again. Four. Four, excellent. And, and how one pink one. Oh, one pink one, and you're adding another one. Oops, no you didn't. So we can describe the number of Legos we have um, with a discrete variable. That's a count. If I'd like to put a quantitative continuous variable into my database, I could consider measuring my Legos, taking a ruler and figuring out the length and width of the Legos. This would be an example of a quantitative continuous variable.